Holy guacamole guys, it feels like it's been such a very long time since I've sat in front of the camera. I know it's been a couple of weeks and I do apologize about that. I have been in a transition phase as you can tell by the new setting. I'm in a new room. If you watched my previous video then you would know that I move rooms and I'm currently in the process of redecorating. So that explains all of this empty space. So today I thought I'd share with you guys all of the items I have been loving for the summertime, especially the month of July. So. Let's get on to my July favorites. Also, I want to apologize about these babies. I hope they're not too distracting. I just got rubber bands, so that has been a journey. So to kick off this video, I'm just gonna start with a couple of beauty and skincare favorites that I have been loving for the summertime. So for the summer, I have basically ditched wearing a full face makeup because it is just too hot to wear a full face makeup in Arizona. Literally, if you step outside, it would just melt right off. This right here has been a product I have been testing out and I've actually come to love. It is just the Burt's Bees BB Cream. Most BB Creams that I've ever tried out are very minimal coverage, very light. And for this BB Cream, it has fairly decent coverage. If I read the back of this, it says that... This unique natural formula moisturizes visibly firm skin, even skin tone, and reduces the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles while providing a hint of tint so you'll look beautiful naturally. This is probably a product that I will continue to use because it is 98.9% natural. It has SPF 15 in it, and the fragrance is pretty good. It has a hint of honey, so this is something that I've been truly loving. Going along with the whole natural, dewy, bare skin look, I've really been loving this highlighter. This is just the NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator. In the summer, I've been trying to ditch using powder products because sometimes they can tend to look cakey and melt right off the face. But this is really nice just to give you a natural highlight or glow. It does the job by giving you a subtle highlight while allowing you to build up the product to your desired look. So this is something that I think is really cool to experiment with. I know they have a couple more shades that are perfect for a variety of skin tones. Also, if you guys were wondering, I'm currently wearing NYX Liquid Sway Lipstick and Soft Spoken on my lips right now. I absolutely love the way it looks and I feel like it really complements my skin tone. So that's the shade I've been rocking this entire summer if you guys wanted to know. So I do have one hair product that I have been loving for the month of July. In the summer, my hair tends to dry out a lot easier, so I tend to try to go without washing my hair a lot longer to get the natural oils back into my hair. But when I do wash my hair and I'm looking to add some moisture back into my hair, I've really been loving this hair butter. This is just the Hydrate and Repair Argan Oil of Morocco Creamy Hair Butter. It's a leave-in or rinse-out conditioner, and mostly what I do is right when I get out of the shower, I just grab a quarter size of it, apply it on my ends, and I just leave it in for the entire night. I feel like it has improved the quality of my hair tremendously because my hair is really dry. It needs all the love it can get. So I've really been loving this product to try to replenish my hair and get it as healthy as possible. Moving along to my favorite part of favorites videos, fashion favorites. So for the month of July, I have been really loving bralettes. This right here is just one of the bralettes that I have been absolutely adoring this summer. It is a lace eyelet embroidered bralette. I absolutely adore this print. It is so beautiful on the skin. It is a dupe of the For Love and Lemons bras that they sell. I've been absolutely love rocking bralettes. If you haven't noticed, I haven't been wearing bras all summer, and by bras, I mean underwire bras. I haven't really talked about it on my channel, and I haven't talked about it on Instagram, but I've completely given up underwire bras. For the summer, I have been rocking bralettes and just enjoying going braless. If you've never tried it before, I really recommend going braless for about a week, and it will change you. It's an extreme confidence booster, at least it was for me. I don't know if you guys would like me to make a video about why I decided to stop wearing bras. If you do, please let me know in the comments below or give this video a thumbs up. To me, it was a no-brainer. Summer in Arizona is brutal and I want to wear as minimal layers as possible, so I just decided to let my puppies roam free. This next favorite is a must-have in any wardrobe. Guys, just prepare yourself because this is probably going to be the cutest thing you've ever seen. Like, Look at these, oh my gosh. So I don't even know how I got so lucky to have it in my wardrobe. It was a gift for my boyfriend. And let me just tell you, best boyfriend ever award goes to him. This is the Cat Pinafore from Lazy Oaf. It's kind of an overall dress. 
denim material, it has a cat face. Can we just have a moment of silence for these overalls? I'm just letting you know that if you have the chance to get your hands on one of these, do so, you won't regret it. I don't know if this can classify as a fashion favorite, but I'm gonna put it in this category anyway. My next fashion favorite is my comforter. It is from Target. It is just a quilt with palm tree leaves on it, but I absolutely love it. I'm going to base the decorating in this room around this quilt, so I'm super excited about it. But I really love this quilt because it gives the perfect amount of warmth. It's really soft, and this pattern is eye-catching. It really makes a statement in any room, and I absolutely love it. So, if you want this quilt, head on over to Target. For my miscellaneous favorites, I have been liking a few weird things, one of them being pom-poms. This right here is a pom-pom. I got two of them, but if I could have more, I would. I've clipped this one onto my purse, and this one, as you can tell, is clipped onto my keys. I absolutely have been loving these things. I think they add a lot of spunk to things. Like, you can clip it on your clothes, you can clip it on your purses, you can clip it on pretty much anything, and I think it would add a little bit of something-something. But I've been really loving these things, especially this one, because... Rainbow! If you watched my previous vlog, then you know I've also been loving the app Pokemon Go. Yes, I'm a Pokemon Go player. The sound of awesome. Ah, oh, shit, I got it. Oh, no! Fuck. No! I'm done. I'm done. I'm still a baby in the game, I will say. I'm only a level 7 player. If you've never played, I really recommend you playing at least once. It's pretty fun, even if you don't ever want to play it again. It's something that you should try out because I think it's the coolest thing ever. Like, I'm kind of obsessed with catching Pokemon. By the way, I would love to know what your favorite Pokemon is, so please leave it in the comments below, your favorite Pokemon. If you guys are wondering, mine is Jigglypuff. I introduced this category in my last favorites video, and that is my favorite YouTubers. For the month of July, I have been watching a lot of Arden Rose and Claire Marshall. Where do I begin on talking about these ladies? For starters, I will leave both their links in the description box below, so if you've never seen their videos, you should probably check them out. Can I just get a hallelujah? Because Claire Marshall just came back on YouTube. She's back, guys, and I'm so excited. Her aesthetic is my life. Ugh. Her fashion style, her filming style, her aesthetic, her personality, just everything about her, I absolutely love. If you guys didn't know, Claire Marshall is one of the YouTubers that I look up to when it comes to the direction that I want to take my YouTube channel in. She produces some of the sickest things I've ever seen. If I could be even 10% of that, I would be so happy. She's awesome. Arden Rose is a sassy, spunky queen. I really enjoy watching Arden's vlogs her styling videos, her hauls, but most importantly, I love her sit-down videos. She always talks about topics that are very interesting to me. Her values are very similar to mine when it comes to certain topics, so I really enjoy watching her. She is a huge reason why I decided to start going braless and ditch the bras. Watching Arden's videos gave me the boost that I needed to test my comfortability and find my inner confidence. So I do really recommend subscribing to both of their channels. Again, I will leave them in the description box below. I do have to say that both of their channels offer something different, but you won't be disappointed. For the month of July, I have been loving a lot of Netflix. You know when Netflix has become a problem when you start to see the TV shows in your dreams. Like, I'm not even kidding. I seriously think that I may have a problem because when I get into a series, I literally have to binge watch the entire thing or my mind only thinks of that show. So the shows that I've been really enjoying on Netflix, Jane the Virgin, The Carrie Diaries, and Pretty Little Liars. I've never been a Pretty Little Liars fan ever. I've watched a couple of seasons when it was on TV, but I lost interest when the show just kept going on and on and on. But one day I was bored and I was like, oh, I'll just catch up on some Pretty Little Liars. And bam, it got me. I ended up watching six seasons worth of Pretty Little Liars because I had to figure out who A was and what the hell was happening. I really, 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 really loved Jane the Virgin. I finished the two seasons of Jane the Virgin on Netflix and I can't wait for season three. 
For starters, it is in the style of a novella, which I think is hilarious, but enjoyable. And just something about it reminds me of my family. It really makes me miss my mom and my grandma. A lot of the things that they do, the family dynamics, just reminds me of my mom and my grandma. So I miss them very much, so it's probably a reason why I really, really like that show. As for The Carrie Diaries, I was actually quite surprised that I liked it so much. I've never seen Sex in the City ever, so I don't know why I decided to watch The Carrie Diaries anyway, but nonetheless I did and I really, really liked it. For some reason, I just find it so empowering to watch videos or TV shows about powerful woman figures. It makes me feel like, yes, yes, you go girl, you can do this. After I watched that show, I just felt like an empowered woman who could take on the world. If you're watching this, you fucking rock. Because you guys made it to the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. That concludes all my favorites for the month of July as well as my summer must-haves. If you guys have any video recommendations of things you guys would like to see, as always, please feel free to leave them in the comment box below. As well as don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Please click it. That would make me so, so, so very happy. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next week. Bye, guys.